know we go. I know we go. Now, if he say he will fight you, it's either you surrender or you look for that trouble to the end. God will not find you with his problem. You were here, and I, I too was here. When former governor Fayose of Ekiti State warned Fubara not to see more than he would see, so that he would not start seeing spirits. Let me show you the warning of governor, former governor Fayose when he warned Fubara against having any issue of controversies to do with Wike. I used to be a tough man. I used to be until I met you and realized that uh, troublemaker gets level. <laughs> because somebody will you know they tire and say we will fight you. You have to find solution to your problem. So I made up my mind. It is better to be with you than to be against you. <laughs> A lot of us here, we don't know when to stop and align yourself. The Englishman says if you can't beat them, you join them. It's a very good advice. Me, I join you. I'm with you. And that will be the basis of my advice for the, for the new governor. The last four years was rather a tough experience of my life because I didn't have a successor. At midnight, five minutes to, to midnight, when I was supposed to leave office, AFCC surrounded my house. I look up, look down, who should I call? Because they would have made announcements and embarrass you. I called Governor Wiki. I said, Governor Wiki, please find more to make it come, bulletproof. And before you know it, he brought vehicles. They took me away out of the government house. Nobody knew where I was. <laughs> and he kept me in his lodge, in his bedroom. The EFCC were looking for me. Very early in the morning, they've surrounded my house very early again. My brother came through the bar, carried me inside the vehicle. They were waiting, my enemies were waiting for me. I was already there. And I had my vest on, EFCC. I am here. They wouldn't have allowed me to wear that T-shirt if it didn't come for me. It saved me the undue and unnecessary embarrassment. So I appeared before EFCC a hero, despite my challenge. While I came in, I said, our leader, I want to congratulate you. It wouldn't have been more wonderful, honorable for a man more than a time like this in your life. Give this, whether you like it or not, give it to Wiki. Whether you like it or not, he has set a pace. Anybody that tries to reverse that pace will mess himself up. He has placed this man in a position till eternity as long as he lives. Nobody can rubbish him. He came, he saw, Bestow honor unto whom honor is due. Let me tell you today, Governor Wiki and Governor of Fubra, this plane you want to start flying now. I flew them, I flew that plane before you by the grace of this man. This plane, yeah, tomorrow now you enter, His Excellency is coming. I flew that plane from Akure, 7 p.m. I'm in Portacot. What means it? They will carry me very early. That, uh, your former governor, um, before Governor Wiki, that governor, um, remind me now, uh, uh, Governor Mechi, when I come to this water court, there used to be one guest house in front of this government house, that's why I normally stay. 
It is that Governor Amishi that normally takes me to the club when I go to enjoy and bring me back because Oga will be asleep that time. He just go. That time is one. Help us. Help us tell Oga. I want to be governor. They should not give it to another person so that he can become governor. But regrettably, regrettably, the eight years was years of humiliation for this man. God brought you back to clothe this man in linen. Your successor, <laughs> Sir Sim Fubra, you must clothe this man in garment of honor. <laughs> For me to be governor of Ekiti, I suffered. I suffered. In the course of the governorship, I was removed. I was removed as governor. I want to say to you, sir, you came in with the hands of God. You are a miracle governor. Today, you are governor of River State. By the grace of this gentle, old, responsible father of democracy in this state, and his son, is on Wiki. My brother, the day your eyes begin to see, you will miss road. Close your eyes completely. Maybe if I have a godfather, I won't have problem. Maybe if I have a godfather like our father here and we can, I will not have problem. I didn't have one. They oppressed me. They showed me pepe. The moment your eyes begin to see in this government, you will have problem. Oh. Close your eyes. Those windows, if you can close them, close it. For you to have eternal peace in your, I don't know, but let me say your eight years. The way you would use the eight years is in your hand. When you don't have a successor, it's a problem. But God has brought this man a peace, and this have peace at the end of his tenure. Put your heart. Those windows, I listened to your program. They did a delay relay of your program. They, I listened to your speech. I listened from beginning to the end. That window, good bullet roof, oh. Bullet roof. First, you know, they hear the thing where they inside, oh. Adam and Eve, the very day Adam began to rationalize God's word. Adam, the very day he rationalized God's word. Adam realized that I am now a man with a wife. He entered Gotao. He entered trouble. When you open your eyes like this, see your guy. If you don't see him, you see this Baba. Your enemies cannot prosper here. They can't have a way. So my counsel to you, because I am an experienced young man. I'm not too old though. But I'm an experienced young man that has gone through so many troubles. If not for God, politically, and this weekend, I will have more than enough problems. He stood by me. He assisted me. He defeated my enemies in my own eyes for me. <laughs> Sir, may God help you, Your Excellency. My counsel is to you. God will help you. Don't see more than what you are supposed to see. The moment you want to see more than you, you are supposed to see, you begin to see spirit. Oh. I know we can. Oh. I know we can. Oh. Now, if he says he will fight you, it's either you surrender or you look for that trouble to the end. God will not find you wicked problem. Oh. He has found you wicked favor. Remain in God's favor and wicked favor. God bless you. From what you've seen, Fayose spoke like a prophet. Let me ask you, I know you were suspended, once suspended by the party. I, 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 have, have you been reinstated or you see stand suspended? I... 
I'm not aware of the suspension, but uh, let me add this to it. I'm not, I'm not aware of any suspension, but those things don't bother me. The, the current situation in our party has made a mockery of suspension and counter suspension. Has made a mockery, especially at that level of leadership. And uh, sad, sad, sadly enough, the current situation in the party has uh, taken the party so low, the level of embarrassment that is most unnecessary. So, so I, I, uh, I have uh, paid my dues, I've done so much. I have defended the party. I was like the only voice against the maladministration of uh, President Buhari. So uh, at this stage, we are taking back seats and uh, we can only be in advisory capacity. So they don't need, I don't need to be said, to be said to be suspended. If they want suspension, they can do it. I don't care. Those, those days are gone. What do you need the party for? To contest or to dance or to play? Okay, where is the party? I mean, most honestly, without feeling ourselves. Not due respect to our governor, managing our, their state wonderfully, wonderfully well. Where, 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 where is the party? What are we talking about? Where, 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 do we say the, the party is in shape? What are you talking about suspension? I, I think we should know that. I can't be bothered about those cheap. Uh, Please. Let me ask you straight. What do you think is at the bottom of all of this? Because what we see as those who are watching on the sideline, those of you who are on the inside, you perhaps understand better. There are those who believe that this is some kind of a bigger tussle between Ayen Samwike and Atiku Abubakar's side of the divide and how to get out of the, uh, the leadership or the control of the People's Democratic Party. Is that exactly the picture of what is going on? The crisis rocking the leadership of the party? So, so when elections has come and gone, without doubt there was a G5 network. Elections had come and gone. And because the party suffered a loss, I think the consequences of that loss is haunting the party. The mismanagement and the arrogance of a few today is haunting the party. And he said when the when the head is sick, the whole body is gone. So it will need God's intervention. We need a miracle for this party to be put together again. Because when you hear of suspension on the left, counter-suspension on the right, at that level, then a lot, a lot has gone under and a lot needs to be addressed. So for me, uh, mentioning pe persons and their names, the party is bigger than individuals and names of Atiku and Wiki and everybody. But the decay in the party by itself, because party is, in, is about interest. The challenges are enormous. And except everybody began, begins to look back, because if you don't kill the past, you won't have a future. So we are still being haunted by our past, naturally. So that is what I will say. But I, mean, I know that you are a friend of the FCT minister. Uh, so, and that's what I'm asking. If you will be honest with Nigerians tonight, uh, is it true, though, the question I asked, that this whole crisis is about the battle for control of the PDP? And largely, for those who believe that, uh, Mr. Yensam Wiki on one hand, and some of his friends who want to take control of the party, and on the other hand, is the article uh, on the other side of the divide and how to take control of the party, largely uh, owing to the, the aftermath of the 2023 elections? So, may I say again, very expressly, that there is no doubt that your past will haunt you. That is the story of a party today. 
And there's no doubt that everybody will struggle to have a control for whatever use and for whatever purpose they are meant for. That is party politics. In the instance case, the party by itself is not helping matters. Let me ask you um, some questions we, uh, she want, and Nigerians to follow. When last did this party had a neck meeting? When last did we sit down to talk together? We only hear of people being suspended in this state, people uh, exiting the party, people going their ways. It, it's unfortunate. It's very, very unfortunate. Well, Governor Fauci, my you, question oh, to you, I mean, because, uh, down, Governor Fauci, just for a moment, there are those who think that if not because of your friend, Yensom uh, Wike, who wants to take control of the party, that the party will not be in this leadership crisis. Would you agree tonight that that exactly is a problem here? Or what is your own view of the problem? So you want to agree with me that if I have reasonable information to that effect, I will tell you, one, I read in the media that the current acting chairman, the chairman from his state went to court. That is a face. And with that face, there was a judgment to say that there must be no removal, there must be no this, there must be no that. On the strength of that, I want to believe that the acting chairman of the party must have taken steps to remain in office. You don't make, I can't make assertive, I can't take assertive position on things, but I can tell you authoritative, authoritatively that the acting national chairman and the chairman of, from a state, UB state, approached the court and there was a judgment. So I will push this to the doorstep of the national chair, of the acting national chairman. Who wants a control and who wants to remain as the national chairman? And let me go further. When you see the national chairman visit key governors and they, it was received, they never queried that, they never said anything to the negative. So where, where, where do we go from there? The national chairman visited the governor of Bauchi State, visited other governors, which means they are with him. I mean, that, 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 that's the implication. But, but, but you, you heard your friend who said, uh, Governor Fauci, you, you heard your friend who said, those who come after him, he will put fire in their state. And those kind of statements, there are those who say, our world is fueling the crisis within the party. Are you able to speak on that too? So when you want to, when I, when as a sitting governor, when I was governor of Ikiti State, if, if I have nothing to hide and a governor or a former governor says he will put fire in my state, it is either I am not strong at home or I have lost control in my state, then I have a lot to fear. I, I, I speak my mind, I don't hide it. And you can tell my position. The moment you have a grip of your state, you have nothing to fear. But the moment you don't have a grip of your state, obviously you know you have a lot in your hands to, to face. So as a sitting governor, you must either position yourself well to lead and to be the governor of that state. That is my take. That's but, my state. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. answer questions for Governor Wiki mm -hmm. because from the way you are putting it, as if I must, I must imagine this is where it's going and this is what he wants to do. I wouldn't be in a position to say that. Yeah, the, the assumption, Governor Fauci, is that he's a very good friend. And I will take you to one of the things that you said, perhaps a prophecy. Uh, there are those who knew, uh, who thought that uh, 
You know, Farashi almost became a pastor those days. Uh, and uh, those who knew that your wife is a, is a prophet, but when you said some things a few years ago or a few months ago, when you warned the governor of River State that be, uh, be worried, uh, don't offend Wiki because uh, you are looking for trouble, and that became very viral. I'll get you to, uh, to, to reverse politics in a moment, but the question is that a lot of people know your affinity and your friendship with Governor Wiki, and that's what I'm asking, because in the political cycle and the friendship that you have, you must be talking about some of these issues. And I imagine, by convention, when Senator Yocha Ayu left as a national chairman of the party, there are those who believe that automatically someone from his senatorial district or someone from his state will have naturally, or from his region, the North Central, will naturally have replaced him. But why is it difficult, though, for your party to be able to uh, f uh, fix that particular gap? And that those who think that, well, the, the PDP always boasts of mechanism to resolve his own issues, the board of trustees, the neck, and all what have you. And that if that is not working, what about some of your elders and some past leaders or present leaders? For example, Anatiku Abubakar, a former vice president, the party's presidential candidate in 2019 and 2023, would uh, people thought that would give leadership for the party and speak for the direction of the party? Uh, then this, all this context, if you put them in place, and imagining, I'm asking you tonight, as a former governor on the platform of the PDP, why has it been difficult for your party to find a pathway out of this quagmire? Because the party is not sitting on truth, equity, and fairness. You have answered it by yourself, Shehu. And that was why I said, the chairman, the state chairman from Yobe State, to the best of my knowledge, which is the state of his acting chairman, went to court. The BOT cannot deny not having the knowledge of the matter being in court. And now there's a judgment. So the court has simply tied the hands of everybody. So the only option left for the party is either to appeal that case or accept that fate. I am a former governor. I don't go to governor's meetings. I can't speak. I can't speak for the city governors. I am when when you we all had our times. I've had my time. I am at the backstage of of the game. So whatever they tell us as our leaders is what we take. These questions are more and better off for the sitting governors to answer. I am only a member, a member of caucus and a member of NEC because I was one time chairman of a PDP governor's forum. But today, I cannot vividly say things on behalf of this party other than the party but, but is from in your, trouble. But from, from your experience... And uh, there's no doubt that the party is in trouble. Governor Fauci, from your experience, if you were in yeah. the, the position to fix things, because I remember vividly, those of us who reported this actively, when your party uh, was in that legal quagmire uh, in the days of Alimodu Sharif, when Marakarifi became the acting yes. chairman of the party, it was a turbulent period for your party. And there are those who will say, do not go, dear, go back to that period because your party almost went under. And it is looking like something like that. When the only place where your party's fate could be decided was not in the hands of the members or the leaders of the party, but in the courtroom. If, from your own experience, how can your so party me, get out me, of let, this? Before you go there, let me tell you, let me tell you, there is a lot wrong with the working committee as it stands. Let us even say that there, there was suspension. Is it a counter suspension that would be the solution? Or, or, let me say, vice versa. At the level of the National Working Committee, which we're supposed to be taking, taking our issues to them, but they are dancing naked in the public space. Are you suggesting that Damagum should step aside? 
So I, whatever my suggestion does not matter in the face of a court judge. It does. You are go, you, you are you are delay fire or are you forgotten what you call yourself? The Ochoko. Ocho in Roma let them get the love fries. Have you ceased to be an Iromale in the Philippines? It seems you have lost your potency as a Romale. What happened to you? Mm. So, let me say these things to you. As a former governor, I am on the two, two layers back, at the back, that are sitting governors. You see, I can't come and speak on behalf of the sitting governors. I can't act as like a current governor. I am an I am a former governor. I can only state, especially when there is no when there is no judgment, I can throw caution to the way. For instance, there was a video making the rounds yesterday that I have declared that was um, a write-up everywhere making the rounds that I have declared to be the national chairman. That's an irresponsible statement that is not that is not from me and will never be from me. So you don't want to be chairman of the party? Never. My name no, 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 no. I don't even want to be anything in the party anymore. I don't even want appointments of any sort. So what I'm saying is that Nigerians should not read headlines. They should read the body of stories. I am not the only fire share in Nigeria. There are fire shares from, from Isai Kiti. There are fire shares from Owo in Undo State. There are fire shares from Malaysia. So when people make statements, Please read which of the fire shares is making that statement. I never said I have declared myself as a national chairman of a party. God forbid. That seat is too, too hot for my age now. I don't want such, and I will never aspire for such. So I will only make responsible statements in the public space. You see, I don't want to make, I don't want to say things, not because I don't want to go straight and hit the nail by the head. But I, rem I want to remind you, there's a court judgment. Secondly, there are leaders of a party now beyond me. And beyond, beyond that, there are governors, sitting governors of the party. So there are certain things that will, be, will show clarity that the sitting governors must make public when they meet. Lastly, you are speaking about Ab Atiku Abubakar. I'm sure at this stage, with all due respect to him, he, he, would, he would rather want to want to stay away with politics of 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 contesting elections a, again. By the time Ashwaju will finish, Atiku Abubakar will be probably 80 or 81. So what would be the attraction? We should leave the stage when the ovation is loudest. I respect him and I think the, the Nigerians are craving for younger generation than ever before. And so what what are we talking about? So on what basis would that could come and contest again? Uh, and like I always say, we have we can defeat APC. But when we don't have a party, how do you defeat them? When you complain about APC, when you don't have a party, how do you how do you you can say you you do this with that? when the OB is almost the voice of, voice of a opposition now. The press will call Obid and call the PDP. Publicity Secretary of the PDP is, is suspending another person in the party and vice versa, the legal advisor. So where is the party? The party is gone. Let me, uh, Governor Farage, let me take you quickly on, 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 two, on, on the politics of two states that you have interest in. You said something in River State. I was saying that po the politics in River State escalating so far. You want... Governor Simfubara, when it was going to be inaugurated, about your friend, Governor Wiki, and it does look like you are now becoming a prophet. Did you see this coming? Well, since you said that I am becoming a prophet, yes, I'm becoming a prophet indeed. Maybe the journey of my life will end up in, a, in the vineyard of the Lord. You never can tell. Yes. Well, I said all I said in good faith. All I said was to ensure that there is harmony between Governor Fubara and Governor Wiki for the turn of turn, 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 uh, turn out or turn turn out of events has given everybody a lot of concern. But I said what I said in good faith. That that's, that's the truth. That is advice I ought to give somebody coming up as governor. 
in a state, particularly in a state like Rivers, where we are friends of Rivers State, we are friends of the then outgoing governor, now minister of FCT. All I said was in good faith and what I expected in the relationship of a, a, a leader that has uh, brought up um, um, a successor, you know? So what I said was, was what it ought to be. So, I mean, do you, do you worry now that what you won against, that it should not fight your friend Wike because you know the capacity of Wike fighting back? You, are you worried of what could be a possible end to this, uh, to this crisis? And how do you think that this can be resolved? Well, this, this crisis is unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. I believe that uh, the, the matter has crossed the Rubicon. The matter has gone far. Beach of trust. And even if you want to resolve this matter, where do you put the trust? How do you put the trust back? So I, 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 I rather want to believe that uh, it is too, too, too far in the day to call for reconciliation. It's too far. Wow. But let me, let me quickly then take you to Ekiti State. It's, it's going to be almost two years now that uh, the governor was sworn in. Uh, as someone who has occupied that seat uh, and a leader in the state, how do you assess the, the, the sitting governor in Ekiti State and his performance? I didn't get that, you. I was going to take you to the governors in Ekiti State. As a former governor in that state, how do you assess the sitting governor? It's going to be almost two years now that since he got into office. What is your own assessment of the sitting governor's performance? Well, sir, well let me say again, as of today, I'm a member of the PDP. The governor there is a member of the APC. But the meeting point is that I am a leader in the kitty. Like I told you, it's either we lie, we die, and we lie, we die. And we, we say the truth, we die. Oyebanji has done exceedingly well. Governor Oyebanji has done exceedingly well. I don't know. I don't know the miracle that would defeat him except something changes between now and that election. Forget the party. Let us be realistic. The PDP is in bad crisis in the KT2. Mm. Anybody can come here and deny, I don't care. Like I said to you, even if I want to fight an enemy, want to fight the governor there, there will be a party to fight him. Everybody is a leader in the PDP in the KT2. It is OK, no problems. Time will tell. But in terms of performance, in terms of leadership quality, in terms of somebody doing well as a governor, I said it before, me and Adebayo, we were busy fighting. Me and fire me, fire me and me. And uh, all, uh, and all of us. But this gentleman has come to reunite everybody. I am not a member of his party. He has visited me more than 18 times. Wow. So if anybody is expecting that I will go and carry axe and cutlass and cut his neck, because only the election, forget it. So if you want to tell me I'm no more a member of your party, I'm still the husband of my wife. I'll still be the father of my children. So I don't care. If the party wants to take power from Uyebanji, they must wake up to the realities on the ground. But, but Governor we'll Fawashi, our deposit. Governor Fawashi, there are those who will say, oh, maybe it's because the governor is patronizing you is visiting you, that's why you're saying like, but saying what you said. But can you say the May same? May I say to you, the governor has, excuse me. Uh, uh, can Jeff, you say the same <laughs> of, the, of the government at the center, the government under Bola Tinubu, can you say the same about their performance in office? Can, 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 let, me, let me conclude that equity with you. Let me call it, tell you very clearly today, Kitty does not have resources to patronize somebody like me. The governor visits Governor Uni back to back. 
Governor, would you have visited the governor's office to see the governor more than twice? I have seen the governor with Governor Fayemi, Governor Debay also visiting me as no peculiarity, no personal. But that will not shut my mouth from saying Oyebanji has done well. And Oyebanji is doing well. I am not a member of his party. And if he does well, till the end, I will be bold enough to come out that they should vote for him. I'm not saying this alone. They, what matters is the kitchen now, after all. What matters is our, the people in that state. When they did the election in Edo, they voted out the governor there and, the, and his crony. So what are we saying? I stand here to say what I'm saying. I am a 64-year-old man. I'm not begging for anybody for favor. So I was asking you, oh, yeah, Governor Bajaj, well. can, can, can you say the same of the government at the center how would you talk, I mean, how would you rate the performance of the government of Bola Tinobu? You see, Sheo, I love your questions because you like to put words in my mouth. Yes, it's, it's, it's not been too easy. That is the truth for Nigerians. But I think that government naturally is giving their best, but their best still needs to be to be helped. They see they, to me if you say they still need time, people will begin to question and say, what time do they need? Yes, I agree that it's not been too easy for Nigerians. But I know that with little time, things could get better. That that, that, that that's that's all I can say. But the, the damage is a long time damage to this economy. Don't forget. It's a long time damage to this economy. It's not an overnight repairs. Mm. No. Repairs will not come overnight. That oh. is the truth. All right. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure talking to you, uh, Governor Ayodele Fauci. It's been a long time I heard you give some, uh, some praise yourself or sing, sing your own praise, the uh, Oshokomole. Uh, and a lot of people have asked me, what does that really so, mean? I am, I, am still the, I am still Peter the Rock. If you follow me, you will break. If I follow you, you will scatter. I'm the Oshoko Eko Kirumo Leto Njejo Love Fries. There is even that. Thank God for the opportunity. That the Rumo Lets don't have Jollof Fries to eat. The rice is now very expensive. And uh, maybe Peter now is hiding away from uh, the rock. The rock is now also we're caving in. Mm, but that's uh, just uh, on a lighter note. But thank you so much. Come around. We always, we always have the love fries to eat. Thank you so much indeed. Governor Adel Fashe, former governor of Thank you, my pleasure. Thank always you. Always a pleasure having you. Explain it to Fubara of what has the potential of happening. Today, what we see between Wiki and Fubara is not strange to what Fayo said spoke about. The battle between Fubara and Wiki has continued to persist and people like you and I have been expecting a statement from Fayose, knowing fully well that Fayose is a close ally to Wiki. They must have been discussing internally. Sharon Okimbaloye tried to unravel the, the thoughts of Fayose regarding this whole issue and he was also reminded of how he spoke like a prophet 